So first, uh, no disrespect to you, man. You're a cool guy. Um, I think we just disagree on the tactics used here, but I did want to make a video on it because I thought it was a fascinating type of hypothetical scenario, and I really love those type of historical ones. And I can make more videos like that also. But I ran the simulation on ChatGPT. I took like more of a deep dive on Tercios, um, which were an elite Spanish unit used in Europe that dominated a lot during the Italian wars, and they were greatly feared. So in this hypothetical, I'm going to assume we're going to send two tercios or 6,000 elite Spanish soldiers all the way into arid America dur during the War of Fire and Blood period, 1550 to 1600. And so a tercio is composed of three different types of units, a thousand pikemen, a thousand arquebusiers, uh, which was an early musket, uh, but it took 30 to 60 seconds to reload a, a sudden musket for a trained, experienced soldier, and then a thousand rodeleros, who had small shields and had swords. This is more of a table that ChatGPT spat out, which made sense completely from what I was reading. The reason why I don't necessarily think that the Tercios would have any impact, and in fact would be a worse case for Spain had they sent them, and this is what the AI also agrees on, is that it's just a tactical mismatch. At the end of the day, Tercios are marching in thickly packed ranks, which would be hard to accomplish in the rugged terrain of arid America. Now, it can be done in the desert, but the Chichimecas were not stupid. They wouldn't rush out there to line up and then fight them with stone hatchets and spears and hands and then archers and then just charge. Like, that would be the dumbest strategy ever. And if that happened, the Tercios would absolutely slice them up, yes. But the Chichimecas did not fight that way. They liked to destroy logistical supply lines and if you had 6,000 tercios you would have very long vulnerable supply lines that would get ambushed by chichimeca arrows they would uh as they moved across the land they would just shoot uh them basically from hiding spots they would whittle them down the entire time the tercios would be uh struggling to maintain hydration and food in such a, an area they wouldn't know how to survive off the land like the indigenous warriors would and so with their supplies dwindling or their logistical supply lines cut down uh, without that, they would start dying probably from that alone as well. Not to mention the strategy of this, like the pike and shot strategy, again, it's effective against infantry charges and cavalry charges. It's really good, but that's just not how the Chichimecas are going to engage in this type of scenario. They're going to be picking people off one by one. And that's going to have a really bad psychological impact to the soldiers, no matter how well trained they are. If they are not getting food, they're not getting water, and they're watching their comrades die one by one around them from fucking arrows not gonna be good they excelled in european battlefields because they were meeting conventional armies like head to head but uh not against a guerrilla tactic type of army that's just not gonna it, it's a tactical mis mismatch like what it's stating here so the outcome likely would be a over 50 percent like casualty rate for the theta seals or even more if they continue to stay there because again like their the taxes are just not going to match up to the warfare used there and another thing is that the Spanish acknowledged this because they had people that were experienced soldiers as either the leaders or they had just some of them with them. A lot of the soldiers used in the Chichimeca War were settlers, yes, but uh, they realized how elusive the Guachichils were. That's why they compared them to the soldiers long in Italy, which they were talking about the Italian peninsula. There was a lot of fighting going on between Spain and France there back then. But the reason why I state this would be worse for Spain would be because if they sent two Tercios, like the elitist of the elite units, and they didn't subjugate the Chichimecas, it would have been extremely damaging for their prestige, and it would have made them look extremely weak to the rest of the world, empire, and other indigenous groups. Not only that, but the cost of sending two Tercios back then, when they were already fighting the Italian wars, when they were already stretched in as it was, they didn't have that much funding back then to devote to it, it would have been catastrophic for the empire at that point. And like the chat DBT said, there's two potential outcomes which I could see, which is like they would rush for diplomatic solutions with the Chichimecas. Um, and who knows how that would have happened, you know, the outcome of that. It could have been what we saw, which is like, you know, they were paid to just be peaceful. Or they would have just stopped venturing north altogether very much for the foreseeable future, probably for like a century or two.